Well, according to Petty Wong, we spoke a bit about this on the show last night, but I want to ask you about it. The UK needs to get woke to its colonial history. And during her first visit to our AUKUS partner since she became foreign minister, she slammed Britain for its imperial history and used her own grandmother as an example of a victim of colonialism. Now, Nick, I mean, it's pretty crass, isn't it, to go mm, and uh, mm, behave mm. this way? Well, I, I thought, you know, I'm disappointed in her, but she's done, a, I think, a pretty good job up to now as foreign minister. But the, this sort of undergraduate, woke, performative statement she's got to make about British evil, for goodness knows what, it's very disappointing. It, look, it's not the way we do things in, in the English-speaking free world, is it? I mean, you expect this of the Palestinians, right? Mm. You know, the Pal you manage to get the Palestinians in the same room as the Israelis, and that's hard enough. The first thing they do is bring up a whole list of historical grumbles going back, real and imagined, going back to their grandfather's <laughs> olive orchard. And that, that's, that's the way they think about it. We don't do that in the world. We get on and we look to the future. We don't build on past grievances. But unfortunately, Labour's got a history of this. You remember Paul Keating, of course, was taking the British to task for Gallipoli, uh, for the fall of Singapore. I think Penny Wong's just going a little bit back further in history. But as, as Daniel Macron said, Emmanuel Macron said, the French president, you, you can criticise our history, but first you have to learn it. And I don't think from this performance that Penny Wong has learned our history. Yeah, and I think that's exactly right.